Hey guys, welcome. In this lecture, we are going to be able to retrieve our bonus from the Cloud Firestore database. Okay, to do this, we have to go back to our VSC code and then the banner underscore widget dot dot file. Okay, great. Now, the first thing to do is to create a variable to store the Cloud Firestore package we had earlier in store. And the reason for this is so we have access to the data we have within the Cloud Firestore database. Now over here, we can get rid of this and then we can create a finer and we can call this variable underscore Firebase. You can just call this underscore Firestore. Firestore. And it's going to be equal to the Firebase Firestore then dot instance. And also, we can specify the type of variable. It is a type of Firebase Firestore. The same way we created a variable called page index and we set it to zero. And also, we specify the type of variable. It is a type of int. So basically, this variable is, is storing a number. So we just have to specify the type. And that is what we are doing over here. OK, great. And now the next step is to create a function. And we can call this function get banners. And now we can return this variable we have over here on the score faster. And now we can go further by saying dot collection. Okay, and you can see now it's asking for the collection path or the name of the collection. And you can see over here we called it banners. Okay, get rid of this, sorry. And this called banners. Now we can say dot get. Okay, seems good. And over here you can see we have this page view over here and we want to have the banners displayed over here. Now to do this, we have to loop over each banners we have or we have to loop over each documents we have. And you can see currently we have just two documents or we have just two banners. Okay, and now we have to go further by saying dot, dot then, okay the then and you can see it's asking for the value we can get rid of this and it is something known as query snapshot and we can call this variable query snapshot so basically we call this variable query snapshot and it is a type of query snapshot the same way we have the page indents and it is a type of int and the same way we have this variable called underscore faster and it is a type of firebase faster and if we don't know what this query shot, sorry, if you don't know what this query snapshot is, it is basically referring to the data we have in our cloud Presto database. And you can just see this query snapshot as a variable that has access to the data we have within the cloud Presto database. That is this data you're seeing over here. Okay. And over here, you can see we have this our function. What we can do is we can get rid of this our function and we can use this type of function and also we can add this over here. And what we want to do now is to loop over each document we have. To do this, we have to then say query snapshot, then dot docs. And you can see over here, we basically want to loop over each document we have or each banner we have. And you can, we have, and you can see currently we have just two documents or we have just two banners. And now we can say dot for dot for for each. Okay. And instead of elements, we can call this doc. That is for each doc, right? For each doc we have. What we want to do is now what we want to do is we want to create a variable and basically we want to add those image to that variable. So over here, we can create a final variable and, and it's going to be a type of list 
of the variable is gonna is gonna store a list of images and we can call this underscore burner image and default we can give this an empty list okay and what we also want to do is we're gonna set state because users are gonna be able to scroll this way to see different image so we're gonna be able to update the UI but unfortunately we cannot update the UI using a stateless widget. So what we have to do is to migrate from a stateless widget to a stateful widget. To do that, alight and use control and dot, and you're gonna see create, sorry, convert to stateful widget. And within there, we can then have access to the set state method. So basically this set state will help us update our UI. And now we can call the underscore banner images and we want to basically add, and we want to add this doc. You can see over here, we are basically saying for each doc, each document we have. And now the data has, has been stored in this document, right? For each document we have. And now we can say doc. And we want to add the image. I think we called that field image. Okay. And this is basically how we need to do about uh, this function over here and now what we want to do next is we want to be able to call this function called get banners and to do this we can create another method known as init state what this init state will do is it will call this function immediately this page gets loaded that is immediately this home page or this home screen loads so what we have to do now is to get rid of this and then call the get burners function. So immediately we visit this page, it's going to trigger this get burners. So assuming we are currently in the category screen, immediately we visit the screen, it's going to trigger that function called get burners. And this is basically everything. Over here, we created a variable called uh, underscore fire store it is a type of firebase fire store and we're basically setting it to the firebase fire store and you can see it has been imported over here cloud fire cloud underscore fire store cloud underscore fire store and now we created a function called get banners and then we are returning the variable called underscore fire store and we're then going further by saying dot collections collection and the collection we want to retrieve the data is the banners and we are saying dot get and also we are going to be able to display that image one by one over here so we have to look over each document we have right you can see over here remember i said you can see this query snapshot as a variable which has access to all the data we have within the cloud fire store database and we are looping over each doc that is for document in document or for each banner we have for each document we have or for each banner we have we want to set the state and we want to add the image to this variable called underscore banner image okay seems good and over here we are we are true we are calling the function whenever this page loads and what we want to do now is to display those image and we have to get rid of this page view over here and we're just going to be using the page view the builder and the page reader the the page reader builder has a property known as item builder and the item builder is going to take into property known as the contest and indents the indents is basically referring to each item we have okay and for now we have just two item and now we can use this function okay, over in this to see what we're missing i think we're missing this over in this to see what we're missing i think we are missing this or oh. okay we needed to get rid of that and over here we can just return 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 an image and this is going to be image.network and not it's not going to be assets you can see we are fetching from the ethernet you can see we have this http uh, https over here so we are fetching from the ethernet it's going to be uh 
image network and over here you can see also we are basically assigning that image to this list over here so we can just call that underscore image image and we want to assess each of the image by the index and the index is basically referring to this index over here and remember the index is basically referring to each item we have in the list and also one important property we have to pass within the page reader is the item count. The item count is referring to how many banner or how many item we have. And for now we have just two documents or we have just two banner. And now we can call the underscore banner image and dot length. This will give us how many item we have. And now if we use control and S to save or how to restart this, we are going to get some errors and the reason for that error is because we also don't need to initialize firebase the error is you're going to get is maybe i think uh no firebase app also and the reason for that error is because after integrating firebase we still need to have we still need to initialize it within the void main function but in order to do that, first of all, we have to make sure all our widget has successfully be, been initialized. To do this, we have to say widget flutter binding and dot ensure initialized. Okay. Or you can just auto start this without doing this, and you're going to see that error yourself. Uh, error which is going to say no default app for no default Firebase app has been initialized also, or initialize app or something like that. And over here, we are basically saying we want to make sure all our widget has been initialized. And after then, we want to initialize Firebase. But unfortunately, it's going to take some time to initialize the Firebase. So what we have to do is to tell Flutter we are ready to await or wait till Firebase initialized. And in order to use the await, we have to use the async over here. Now we can then say await, await Firebase dot initialize app. You could also say that when complete or whatever, you can just print something to yourself. And this is basically it. And what we start this, you can, you can just get rid of this and what we load to see the error yourself. And let's go check this out and you can see it over you can see the image seems cool so you can just get rid of this to see that error yourself in order to take note of that error in case you you forgot this and what we want to do is we can make this image take the full uh take the full weight of the container to do this we can go to the banner widget and scroll down within the image network over here we can add a comma it has a property known as fit and first of all we can try this boss fit dot cover to see it's gonna if it's gonna cover the remaining parts of the screen okay working as expected and now we can screw to see another image and of course this is coming from the internet so it's gonna take some time to load and you can see currently we have just two images and hopefully you understand all this. You can also wrap this with maybe wrap this with a clip RX to give a little border. Okay, wrap with widget. And of course you can wrap this with a container, but that's gonna take a long way because you then have to specify border readers, border decoration, and so on. But we can easily just use the clip RX. And since basically we you just want to have access to the border radius okay clip arrow rect and now we can have the border radius and this is going to be border border radius the circular of maybe 10 to so just make this a bit rounded and not really rounded okay you can see seems good cool. looking very nice and we can also upload more images from the storage okay it's gonna hide my comma right 
And if you are wondering how I got to know this, in the next lecture, I'm going to show you how I got to know about this. I'm going to show you the documentation for this so you can also go through it whenever you forget. Okay.